Yeah, I just want to see how the audio sounds on this 2970N2 here. Uh, how's that sound to you? Go ahead. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Sounds good. I'll tell you what, you sound good up here in New York for sure. Or up here around the Rochester area in New York. 200DS Radio Shop up here. All right, gentlemen, I don't want to tie it up here. I just want to see how she's how she's walking and talking in your direction there. Take care, guys. 73s. 200DS Radio Shop, New York. We go. Okay, 200DS. Sound good up here in Denver, Colorado. Right on. Colorado. Get you later. Have a good day. Here we go. So, 2970N2. And uh, this one here had to be cleaned up. Uh, they had a swing kit put in. Let me turn this down. So we had a swing kit uh, that they that they uh, had in here. We took that out. Uh, an audio output transformer and had jumpered. Uh, part of all that whole swing kit with a resistor and a diode on the inside. So we took all that out and had to reflow several solder joints on top of this. Uh, changed out two capacitors in the front end, which controls the memory. This does not have the battery like the older style does. Uh, there's two electrolytic capacitors. They are 220 microfarad by 10 volts. And I replace those with a 220 microfarad 25 volts. They'll hold a better charge and last a lot longer. Uh, so anyways, uh, those two caps are what controls the memory on this. So if you ever have these radios and there's no battery and you're losing memory when you go to turn it off, turn it back on, it resets back to 24 or 26 megahertz. Um, it's because of those two front end caps. So, uh, anyways, those have been, been replaced. Uh, new LEDs been put back in, and uh, of course, aligned and tuned. So, we've got uh, right around 200 watts roughly on sideband, which is about where it should be. And we got uh, a, a 2 watt dead key low and 10 watt dead key on the high, and doing about 250 watts out, 245, 250 watts out on AM. And that's about right where it, where it should be. So, um, that's the uh, take on this anyway. I just got to put the cover back on. And uh, I just got to touch up the solder joints in the back for the external speaker jack. I know there's a couple fractured solder joints there. Everything else was pretty much reflowed. So um, I just got to hit that really quickly, put the cover on, and send it out the door. So RCI Ranger 2970N2, all tuned and line, ready to go. And going to last a guy a very long time. When this first came in, this was at a 15-watt low. 28 watt, which is an oddball number on the high side. I think they were trying to go for 30. Uh, so, and this was doing um, about 170 watts out AM, 165 on sideband. And the swing kit, the way they had this all set up was just complete garbage. Uh, it was about 452, 53 hertz off frequency. So we also had that all squared away too. But like I said, this is, this is a rock and roll radio now. And uh, it'll definitely last a very long time. This is a hell of a unit right here so he's going to be very happy to get this thing back and on the air so dx radio shop upstate new york 315-573-9205 www.dxradioshopny for new york so dxradioshopny.com catch you guys later